mm, thing you want to do first is just open up these doors just enough and come back here. She unpeg that, and then this whole waist assembly comes all the way down. In the the way he was packaged in the packaging was really weird. He's like squatted, and then bring the legs down, and then split them, and then as you can see here, you wanna. Should we bring out the arms yet? Yeah, let's bring out the arms. Bring the arms down. Now you want to take these, the shoulder bits of the arms, and, or actually, this part, I'm sorry, has to come back. Then you want to take the shoulder bits, and when you pull them back, I, I keep missing steps. Take these, or take these like that. And when you doing so, when you're rotating those shoulders back, his head comes up, and the whole thing, the whole automorph happens, and then I'm just gonna, oh, I see what I did wrong with the feet, that's why my legs look so weird, his, like, knees weren't out, I was like, why the heck does he look so short and stumpy, uh, This head down. He's actually not looking straight. I can't get him to look straight. His head's looking down too much. And then those, this section here in the back, you can just take this. This doesn't fold up and under like the other roof did on the R.I.D. Bumblebee. But I, I don't mind. And then take. Come on, stand for me. Stand for me. Born for me. Oh, whatever. Uh, here you have the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters bum Bumblebee in his robot mode. Now, I really honestly, I do not know why is. Oh, okay. I got his head to go up. Really tight ball joint. That is, that is not Bumblebee at all. That it does not look like a Bumblebee figure. <laughs> no, his head at least doesn't. I'm going to show you that to you later. But uh, here he is in his robot mode. Uh, obviously a lot like the R.I.D. version. But still, with just all the spikes. Uh, the, the spikes from the back of the car are now back here. Because that's where his feet now are. The spikes from the front of... Actually, I forgot another step. Take these. Rotate these up. Take, oh, okay, well that's how I already did it. And then you can take his little Eevee shot... Uh, it'll peg into his arm just like his other cannons, but I don't really like doing that. And then on the back, yeah, yeah, you, you can peg it in, but uh, unless you actually take out the missile, oops, sorry, there be, and then fold these back, you're not going to get it in very well. Okay, and you can peg his eagle shot bow into his back. But that's going to make him really back heavy and make it really tough for him to stand. So I'm just going to wiggle that out of there. And then he can hold it. And then I think that's the the really only look that I'm going to have for the Eagle Shot Bow. So, oops. There he is, in his robot mode. Uh, my light's not working very functionally right now. Uh, I think it looks really good. Uh, for the comparison, with the very bright light, here is the R.I.D. Bumblebee. They're both looking down at the ground. Next to the Transformers... Prime Beast Hunters only. Well, they're both Transformers Prime. One's just already one's Beast Hunters. So, as you can see, vast difference. As you can see, the headlights look different. Uh, Beast Hunters has a symbol on his chest. Uh, he's obviously got a completely new mold with newly molded head. They both ha can have their blasters pegged into the side. Both have the doors in the back. He's got the missiles. The Beast Hunters one's got the missiles on it. They both have the bit still sticking up in the back of the head. Doesn't bug me. Now, Remember, a problem that we always essentially had with 
this guy was his neck always sat up too much and there was a way to modify it but you know a lot of people didn't want to modify it now this guy where is he this guy the way that all of the new mold sits up like here i'll show you the way how all of that is molded upwards it doesn't make his head or his neck look so high it makes it look a lot lower and better and it looks like he's getting angry at me too for uh, saying how Beast Hunter's head looks better. Uh, but, you know, this the, the Beast Hunter's, I wish it doesn't have the painted silver on the bottom part by the foot on the leg. That doesn't really bug me. Uh, his shoulder panels aren't all the way up. Well, all of the arms bringing that down, that kind of sucks. Uh, so, I'm going to show you the newly molded head for the Beast Hunter's Bumblebee. So, as you can see, that's really blurry. I, I, I don't have a very good zoom. Uh, he looks really angry. I mean, granted, this one looked angry. But that was kind of a classic kind of thing for Transformers Prime Bumblebee. That is just... He's, he's pissed. He's, he's pissed about something. Oh, he looks like he even has a mouth. Oh, I'm going to punch you in the face. But, you know, he's got the big crest here. And that's newly molded. And doesn't even have white piping or really eyes at all. Just all the way sitting back in there is little tiny dots that are painted blue, which I'm actually curious. I don't think that's how they're supposed to look. I'm looking on the side of the box right now. And Looks like he's supposed to have fuller eyes, but that is just really kind of creepy, and it actually kind of scares me a little bit. That scares me. He still has got his blasters, so that's kind of cool. Uh, nothing too terribly different. One thing that I have noticed with a lot of the new Transformer Beast Hunters figures is a lot of the time, on a part of their main coloring, they have kind of like a wash effect of another color right there you can kind of see it's kind of a swirly paint and he has it right there on his door and i can't i'm trying to find another place where he has it to show it off a little bit better i can't really find any place but uh that's really kind of weird but i think it's kind of cool but uh these actually will rotate so whatever you want to do with that uh the articulation Head is on a ball joint, but it's really, really tight. And oh, um, that is just what? What? That's just oh my god! It looks like no matter where you go, it looks like he's always looking at you. Right? Doesn't look like he's got like moving pupils. That oh, that's freaky. Or uh, that is just freaky. Uh, the sh let's get rid of this because that's too big and bulky. The shoulders, they will go up and down, but again, I have that stress problem. I have that little stress problem there where stress is forming on that. Uh, it goes up and down here, but that will bring these back down, so you always have to keep pushing those up. It swivels there, and it's on like a ratchet joint at the elbow, so that's nice to see. Still, and then this thing just completely unpegged from his arm. His hands, or his wrists, I should say, they they don't do anything. They're, they're stuck like that. The waist doesn't swivel, but at the hips, they have ball joints. And actually, also swivels at the waist. Why isn't that staying pegged on there? Come on. And actually, oh no, I thought th these might be molded differently. They look a little bit different. Uh, so it swivels and then it bends at the knee. And then because of the transformation, you get a little bit of a really tight foot articulation. But uh, let's move this guy out of the way. So, oh my. I don't know why that's doing that. I can probably put some super glue on there and tighten that up. But uh, overall, it's a very, very nice figure. I think it looks absolutely badass and amazing. Uh, 
if you see him in stores, because he is out in stores right now, or the only place I've seen him at is Toys R Us, then again, I have no idea if he's available at any other stores, I would highly, highly recommend picking him up. Uh, even if, Especially if you missed out on the R.I.D. Bumblebee. This is a fantastic figure to have. But if, even if you do have the R.I.D. Bumblebee, I can still recommend this. Uh, everything's great. He still comes with his original weapons. He comes with his uh, Eagle Shopper, which I think is really kind of nice. Uh, I know Big Bad Toy Store has them, where you can buy, either buy him or buy the whole first wave of deluxe figures. But, uh, without any more hesitation, I'm going to go ahead and transform him back to his vehicle mode. So, what you want to do first is just unpick these and then getting ready for vehicle mode. I'm going to tab those back. And this is going to be a very, very long review. That's what editing is for. Take his feet and... Peg those together. Come uh, to the back here and fold that up. Take this section. Make sure his head's kind of straightened down. Just one last time. I'm gonna get you. Uh, take these and kind of rotate these to the front so that it all lines up perfectly. It doesn't even look that evil in vehicle mode. Why does he look so evil in robot mode? Take this. This just comes up and sits there. You want to bring the arms back. Just so they're kind of tabbed in. Bring this whole waist assembly down. This all goes uh, up. These so go forward. Which I would just keep open for a little bit. And then this kind of pigs into there. It's all so tight. It's a very tight fit. Uh, sure, everything's pegged together properly. And where is it? Take his little engine thing. Just peg that onto there. And take Mr. Bowie Bow. And just peg that right onto there. And with the, when you have these kind of in, it gives them a little more sleek look. So I kind of like that. But here you have Beast Hunter's Bumblebee back in his uh, vehicular mode. Uh, so, like I said, without any hesitation, I would definitely recommend picking this guy up. Uh, I loved this guy. I thought he was great, and this is, I think, even an improvement on that. But, I mean, with Transformers Prime Season 3, I honestly think they're all just going to keep their uh, normal molds, like normal actual prison, like how they are seen in the show. I think they're all just going to still look like this. I don't think this is going to have any effect. But it's still really nice way for us to get toys. So, uh, oh, that's not pegged down all the way but uh i would definitely recommend picking this guy up he's a wonderful figure stay tuned because next up for my next review i'm bringing you with the beast hunter sound wave so uh this has been a review of the transformers prime deluxe class bumblebee see you next time bye